This video exposes the shocking things young people can do when they think no one is watching them. Whether it's a young man who decided to pleasure himself by invading the privacy of a woman or her child as they watched TV, a guy who thought he was sleek enough to film under a woman's skirt and go unnoticed, or simply a young girl enjoying a moment of privacy in what seemed like a private space. And he has like a tummy ache, so she thought she'd be low-key and like take her bra off, but now her bra's just falling out. Little did they know, cameras were rolling, capturing their every move. So, let's take a look at these teens who thought they were alone in public places. Bra slip cut short. This is Sandy. While at the mall with her boyfriend, she got hit with a sudden tummy ache that made her want to be low-key uncomfortable. Thinking it would help, she decided to discreetly take off her bra. However, things didn't go as planned because her bra started slipping out unexpectedly. Meanwhile, her boyfriend was filming a video. Just as Sandy spotted an empty doorway where she could quickly remove her bra, she noticed someone approaching from that direction. Yeah, I'm here. In a split second, she had to think fast and act naturally. With a quick turn, she pretended to be innocently standing there, hoping that the approaching person wouldn't notice her awkward situation. The tension of the moment was palpable as Sandy tried to maintain her composure while her bra threatened to reveal her impromptu adjustment. She silently prayed that the person passing by wouldn't pay too much attention and would just continue on their way. Luckily, the person walked past without giving Sandy a second glance. She let out a sigh of relief, grateful that her quick thinking had saved her from a potentially embarrassing embarrassing moment. Lesson learned, she made a mental note to be more cautious with wardrobe adjustments in public places, especially when being filmed. Let's move to a teen who learned the hard way that not everything should be filmed. Bathrooms may not be private. Two teens decided that a stall in the bathroom was a safe place for some quick sex. However, they didn't know they were about to go viral for it. Another 17-year-old student in their high school realized that they were getting it and decided to do something very weird. So we took out his phone, recorded what was happening, then took that recording and distributed it on social media and airdrop. When the situation got to the police, he was charged with eavesdropping surveillance, which is a felony that might get him anywhere from one to five years in jail if convicted. The two who were engaged in sexual acts may also be disciplined because they are juveniles. When the news spread wide, many people argued that he should also be charged with child pornography. However, the argument is that since the video did not show any genitals, then it wasn't pornography. This next team pulled off a stunt that might make you question their sanity just by imagining it. He's said to have grabbed the woman's behind, shoved a cell phone under a dress. The cell phone was, according to police, recording video. What's under her skirt? Andre was caught engaging in video voyeurism. Just in case you do not know what this means, it's an act that involves secretly recording images or videos of a person without their consent, particularly in private or intimate settings. After he was caught, he admitted to doing this regularly, mentioning that he did it every Sunday. Specifically this time, Andre was accused of taking pictures of a female victim without her knowledge. He was charged with bumping into a woman at 3rd Street Beach, grabbing her behind, and then discreetly placing his cell phone under her dress to record video without her consent. As a result of these actions, Andre faced legal consequences. He appeared in bond court and was charged with video voyeurism, which is a serious offense. Despite having a clean record and living with his parents before this incident, he now has a criminal record and is dealing with the repercussions of his actions. Furthermore, this wasn't Andre's first offense related to voyeurism. He had a previous record for similar activities and had been bailed out of jail before. However, this latest case led to him admitting to his recurring behavior of engaging in video voyeurism every Sunday. Ultimately, Andre was released into the custody of pretrial services, but he had to pay a bond of $1,000 as part of the legal process for his actions. Interrupted Loan Choreography in an office setting, a dedicated employee with a passion for K-pop music found herself lost in the groove of her favorite hip-hop track during a break. Unaware of her surroundings, the K-pop fan began to sway her hips and move to the beat, her face reflecting pure joy as she mimicked the dance moves she had seen in music videos. The catchy rhythm and energetic melody had completely captivated her, transporting her into a world of dance and music that she adored. As she danced, completely immersed in the moment, she failed to notice that the door was slightly ajar. Just then, her senior colleague, walked in quietly to discuss an upcoming project. His footsteps were masked by the music playing, and he stood there for a moment, observing her spontaneous dance routine with a mixture of surprise and amusement. The K-pop fan's blissful dance came to an abrupt halt when she turned around and saw him standing. She froze, her cheeks flushing with embarrassment as she quickly removed her earphones. The realization that she had been dancing so freely in front of a senior colleague dawned on her, and she felt a pang of panic. The senior colleague, trying to stifle a chuckle, broke the awkward silence with a lighthearted comment 
comment about the K-pop fan's impressive dance moves. She, still flustered, apologized profusely, explaining that she got carried away by the music. Teen boys tap young girls. Let's move to an alarming incident that has stirred deep concerns regarding the state of law and order in Bengaluru. Two bike-born men were openly caught molesting a woman on roadside. The whole incident was caught in a CCTV camera in which one of the molesters seen touching bottoms of a woman from a backside and fleeing away. This shocking and distressing event was captured by a CCTV camera, revealing the brazenness and audacity with which such acts are committed. The footage vividly depicts one of the assailants touching the woman's bottom from behind before swiftly fleeing the scene. This incident unfolded in a typically tranquil area, highlighting the stark contrast between perceived safety and the harsh reality faced by many individuals, especially women in public spaces. The surveillance video serves as a stark testament to the pervasive issue of harassment and assault faced by women on a daily basis. It prompts urgent questions about the adequacy of measures in place to ensure the safety and security of individuals in urban environments, particularly vulnerable groups like women. The disturbing footage has sparked widespread outrage and demands for swift and decisive action against the perpetrators. It underscores the imperative for robust law enforcement and proactive measures to prevent and address instances of violence and harassment, particularly those that occur so brazenly in public view. Authorities have launched a comprehensive investigation into the incident, pledging to identify and apprehend the culprits responsible. However, this incident serves as a sobering reminder of the systemic challenges in creating a safe and inclusive society, where all individuals can move freely without fear of harassment or violence. It calls for a collective effort to address the root causes of such behavior and foster a culture of respect, dignity, and safety for everyone. Captured by Pretty Girl In a bustling part-time job setting, a group of young boys was busy with their tasks when a girl they found attractive walked by. Her presence instantly captured their attention, and they couldn't help but stop working to stare at her. They whispered to each other, commenting on her looks and style, completely forgetting about their duties for a moment. Their gaze followed her as she walked across the area, and it was evident that they were quite taken by her. However, their distraction didn't go unnoticed. Men's tendency to stare at attractive women can be influenced by a combination of biological, psychological, and social factors. From a biological perspective, humans are wired to notice and be drawn to features that signal health, fertility, and reproductive potential. Evolutionarily, men may instinctively be attracted to women who exhibit traits associated with youthfulness, symmetry, and physical fitness, as these characteristics are often linked to reproductive success. Psychologically, the act of staring at attractive women may stem from a combination of curiosity, admiration, and desire. Attractive individuals often command attention due to their physical appearance, confidence, and social status, leading to heightened interest and attention attention from others, including men. The visual stimuli presented by an attractive woman can activate areas of the brain associated with reward and pleasure, contributing to the desire to continue looking. Moreover, societal norms and cultural influences play a significant role in shaping men's behavior towards attractive women. Media portrayals of beauty standards, objectification of women, and social expectations regarding masculinity and attraction can influence how men perceive and interact with attractive individuals. In some cases, societal messages may reinforce the idea that it is acceptable or even expected for men to gaze at attractive women, leading to normalized behavior. Now let's move from that to a very abnormal behavior, shoe thieves. In Singapore, there's a unique tradition when it comes to wearing shoes indoors. Unlike in Western countries where it's normal to wear shoes around the house, Singaporeans often leave their shoes on special racks outside their apartments. This practice is usually hassle-free, but it can sometimes attract the attention of thieves who have a penchant for stealing flip-flops. A recent incident caught on a security camera and shared on Facebook shed light on this unusual theft trend. The video shows two girls quietly and thoughtlessly sifting through someone else's shoes, seemingly trying to find the perfect perfect pair. Interestingly, both girls were barefoot, raising questions about whether they were stealing out of necessity or for some other reason. However, their attempt was short-lived, as they heard a noise that spooked them. Without wasting a moment, the would-be thieves hurriedly fled the scene, leaving behind their failed endeavor. Stealing flip-flops or any seemingly minor act of theft can have deeper implications beyond the immediate action. While taking something as seemingly insignificant as flip-flops may not appear harmful or consequential at first glance, it can set a precedent for more serious and harmful behaviors in the future. This is because theft, regardless of the value of the item stolen, involves a disregard for others' property rights and a lack of respect for boundaries. Engaging in theft, even on a small scale, can desensitize individuals to the consequences of their actions and 
erode their moral compass over time. It can create a pattern of behavior where the person becomes more comfortable with dishonesty and unethical actions, leading to a slippery slope of increasingly risky and harmful behaviors. Moreover, stealing flip-flops or any item, no matter how trivial, can have legal repercussions if caught. It can result in criminal charges, fines, and damage to one's reputation. This can have long-lasting consequences that impact future opportunities and relationships. This incident serves as a reminder of the importance of security awareness, even for seemingly mundane items like flip-flops. It also prompts discussions about theft prevention strategies and the need for communities to stay vigilant and look out for each other's belongings. The video, shared on social media, sparked conversations about the impact of theft on everyday life and the measures individuals can take to protect their property. Doorstep Dance Heist the D.C. police recently released a security camera video showcasing an unusual incident involving a man who not only showed off his dancing skills but also pulled off a daring theft. In the video, the man, wearing a blue jacket, is seen cautiously looking around before suddenly breaking into dance right on someone's porch. It's unclear why he decided to dance, but he even looked directly into the camera while grooving to his own beat. However, his dance routine wasn't just for entertainment. After his impromptu performance, he casually picked up someone else's packages and quickly made his escape in a black Range Rover. What's intriguing is that this incident occurred on a Sunday at 1 p.m., which is not the typical time for a robbery. Nevertheless, the dancing thief seemed unfazed, and no one attempted to intervene. Perhaps people were hesitant to confront someone who dances on a porch in broad daylight. The police took the case seriously, offering a reward of $1,000 for any information leading to the thief's identity. What makes this case even more bizarre is the fact that the thief hid behind a giant Rudolph's deer mask during the theft. Although it's speculated that the thief might be a girl, the focus remains on recovering the stolen items, which took place on December 18th, just before Christmas. The police urged the public to share any information they might have about the perpetrator's identity. They even humorously mentioned that they would hand the information directly to Santa, given the Christmas theme of the incident. It's a strange and captivating story that combines unexpected dancing, daring theft, and a festive twist that certainly caught everyone's attention. The police assured the public that they are working diligently to apprehend the thief and recover the stolen items, ensuring justice is served during the holiday season. Car Thief in a small neighborhood off 66th Street, a surprising turn of events unfolded when a 15-year-old teen decided to take a joyride in a stolen car. We've all seen the carnage caused by teens stealing cars. In this case, this teen stole the wrong car and ended up stalled out at the wrong house. Little did he know this impulsive decision would lead to a series of events that would land him in a predicament. The story begins at AJ Garage, where the teen made a bold move and stole a car, thinking it was an easy getaway. However, luck was not on his side as the stolen car malfunctioned near a sharp bend in the road, just by a prominent stop sign. The timing couldn't have been worse, as this incident occurred right in front of military veteran Keith Hansford's house, a residence brimming with surveillance cameras. They know I have the cameras, and they know that any time they need uh, access to them, uh, I'll be glad to grant that to him. Keith Hansford, known for his vigilant security measures, had a comprehensive system of cameras that captured every angle of the incident. When the car stalled near his property, two teens hastily exited the vehicle. One of them clutched a binder, presumably containing valuable information, while the other swiftly removed the license plate, perhaps in an attempt to obscure the car's identity. The teens, realizing they were in a precarious situation, made a run for it towards a nearby lake. In a bid to cover their tracks, they discarded the binder, hoping to evade detection by passing vehicles. However, unbeknownst to them, their every move was being recorded by Keith Hansford's surveillance cameras. Fortunately, swift action by law enforcement led to the identification of the young thief. A deputy, utilizing the footage captured by the security cameras, was able to pinpoint the culprit and initiate necessary steps to resolve the situation. Reflecting on the incident, Keith Hansford expressed his willingness to cooperate with law enforcement, highlighting the importance of community involvement in maintaining safety and security. He commended the sheriff's office for their prompt response and diligent efforts in resolving the case swiftly. The teen initially denied any involvement in the theft, but when confronted with irrefutable video evidence, he had no choice but to acknowledge his actions. This incident serves as a cautionary tale, emphasizing the consequences of impulsive decisions and the importance of accountability. Ultimately, the collaboration between vigilant community members like Keith Hansford and law enforcement agencies proved instrumental in swiftly resolving the case and ensuring that the young thief learns from his mistake. It's a reminder of the power of community vigilance vigilance and cooperation in maintaining safety and deterring criminal activities. Frustration turns chaos. 
This young teen, a dedicated EO employee at an esteemed restaurant, found himself in the midst of a particularly trying day. Feeling the weight of the pressure bearing down on him, frustration began to simmer beneath the surface, and in a moment of heightened tension, a small mishap occurred. With a sudden burst of anger, he slammed the tray to the ground and then stomped on the nearby table, hoping to release some of the pent-up tension. The consequences were immediate and devastating. The table jolted from the impact, causing bottles of exquisite wine to teeter and then crashed to the floor in a cacophony of shattering glass. The once elegant dining atmosphere was now marred by the mess and chaos created in a moment of unchecked emotion. It wasn't just the monetary cost of the broken bottles that weighed heavily on his mind. It was also the realization that his lack of control Control had tarnished the reputation of the restaurant and disrupted the dining experience for everyone present. When people get frustrated, the urge to slam or kick things often stems from a combination of emotional intensity and a need for physical release. Frustration can build up when things don't go as planned or when obstacles seem insurmountable, leading to a surge of pent-up energy and tension. This energy needs an outlet, and for some, expressing frustration through physical actions like slamming doors or kicking objects provides a temporary sense of relief. Additionally, slamming or kicking things can serve as a way to externalize internal emotions. It's a way of visually and audibly expressing feelings of anger, disappointment, or helplessness. The act of exerting force on an object can give a momentary sense of control in a situation that feels overwhelming. It was a humbling experience that underscored the need for composure and mindfulness in the face of adversity, teaching him to channel frustration into productive action rather than destructive outbursts. Cat Chase. Let's move to this young teen who was walking home one day. As she made her way down the familiar streets towards her house, she noticed a stray cat following her. Unlike some people who might find it cute, she felt scared. The cat's persistent presence behind her sent shivers down her spine, and she quickened her pace, hoping to reach the safety of her home. As she approached her house, her heart racing with fear, she saw the cat still trailing behind her. Without wasting a moment, she hurriedly climbed the pole standing in front of her house. Perched atop the pole, she felt a mix of relief and anxiety, watching as the cat lingered below, meowing softly. Feeling trapped and scared, she began to yell for help, hoping that someone nearby would hear her cries and come to her rescue. The cat seemed curious, occasionally looking up at her, but it didn't leave, prolonging her distress. Many people experience fear or discomfort around cats for various reasons, and these feelings can stem from a combination of factors. One common reason is a lack of familiarity or understanding of cats' behavior and body language. Cats have unique ways of communicating, such as tail flicks, ear movements, and vocalizations, which some individuals may misinterpret as aggression or unpredictability. Additionally, past negative experiences with cats, such as scratches or bites, can contribute to fear or anxiety. Traumatic encounters with stray or feral cats, especially during childhood, can leave a lasting impression and shape how someone perceives cats in general. Furthermore, cultural beliefs and superstitions may play a role in fear of cats. In some cultures, cats are associated with superstitions or myths, such as being omens of bad luck or supernatural beings. These beliefs can contribute to a sense of unease or apprehension apprehension around cats. Moreover, fear of cats can also be linked to specific phobias, such as allurophobia, which is an intense and irrational fear of cats. Phobias often develop due to a combination of genetic, environmental, and psychological factors, and they can manifest as extreme anxiety or panic when faced with the feared object or situation. After what felt like an eternity, the cat finally lost interest and wandered away. Breathing a sigh of relief, the young teen carefully descended from the pole and rushed inside her house, grateful that she had escaped the unnerving situation unharmed. Busted ring and run. Next up in our story is a pair of young teen girls who had a habit that some might call mischievous. These girls found it amusing to ring their neighbor's doorbells and then dash away before anyone could answer. It was their way of adding a bit of excitement to their day, a game they played often without any real consequences, or so they thought. On a particular evening, the girls approached one of the houses in their neighborhood, unaware that a CCTV camera was silently observing their every move. As they reached the front of the house, one of the girls couldn't resist the temptation and swiftly pressed the doorbell setting off the familiar chime. In a flurry of giggles and excitement, both girls turned to sprint away, their hearts racing with anticipation of a successful getaway. Little did they know, their prank was captured in detail by the watchful eyes of the CCTV camera. It recorded their playful antics from start to finish, from the moment they approached the door to their speedy retreat down the street. You see, when teens practice ring and run on their neighbors, it's like stepping into a game where the goal is to ring the doorbell and dash away before anyone answers. It's a thrill 
thrill-seeking adventure that adds a spark of excitement to everyday life. Imagine being a teenager, full of curiosity and a thirst for adventure. You're always looking for new experiences, even if they're a bit cheeky. Ring and Run is one of those harmless pranks that bring a smile to your face and a skip to your step. And when you team up with your friends, it becomes a shared secret, a bond that makes the prank even more thrilling. Part of the allure is the element of surprise and unpredictability. You never know how the person behind the door will react, and that uncertainty adds to the adrenaline rush. It's like a mini escape from the usual routine, a moment of pure spontaneity in an otherwise structured day. Of course, there's also the excitement of not getting caught, sneaking away before the door opens, trying to muffle your giggles. It's all part of the game. It's a playful rebellion against the ordinary, a chance to let loose and have a good laugh with your friends. As the girls disappeared from view, their laughter fading into the distance, the CCTV camera continued to silently document their escapade. It was a reminder that in today's digital age, even the simplest of pranks can leave behind a digital footprint, capturing moments that may have unintended consequences. Quietly watch this next video and wait for it. Hope no one saw that. This young guy fresh from grocery shopping at the bustling mall. As he strolls out, he's got that confident swagger pushing his cart like a pro. But wait, what's he up to now? He's only gone and started gliding with the cart. It's like he's in his own little skate park moment. And then just when you think everything's smooth sailing, disaster strikes. Yep, you guessed it. He slips and takes a tumble, cart and all. Suddenly there's milk everywhere. It's like a scene from a slapstick comedy. But hey, who hasn't had a slip up now and then? Now our protagonist, slightly embarrassed but still in good spirits, looks around cautiously. Is anyone watching? Did anyone witness his milk-spilling cart-crashing adventure? Ah, the universal hope that no one saw our little blunders. The psychology behind checking to see if anyone saw you when you fall down in public taps into our innate sense of social awareness and concern for how others perceive us. When we experience a moment of embarrassment such as falling down in public, our immediate reaction is often to assess the situation and gauge if anyone witnessed our mishap. This stems from a combination of factors related to social psychology and evolutionary instincts. Firstly, humans are social beings wired to seek acceptance and approval from others. Falling down can trigger feelings of vulnerability and a fear of being judged or ridiculed by those around us. This fear is rooted in the desire to maintain a positive social image and avoid negative evaluations from peers. Secondly, the act of checking to see if anyone saw us falling is a form of self-monitoring and impression management. We are constantly aware of how we are perceived by others and strive to maintain a favorable impression. By checking if anyone witnessed our fall, we are assessing the potential impact on our social standing and taking steps to mitigate any negative consequences. Moreover, there's a psychological phenomenon known as the spotlight effect, which refers to our tendency to overestimate how much attention others pay to our actions and appearance. This heightened self-consciousness amplifies the concern about being observed during embarrassing moments like falling down in public. But fear not, buddy, we're all in the same boat. We've all had those clumsy moments that make us chuckle later on. So, here's a virtual high five to our cart gliding friend for giving us a good laugh and reminding us that it's okay to stumble sometimes.